Okay, this question looks an absolute horror show in that we have to evaluate this complex expression inside the modulus. Um, but in actual fact, if we use our conjugate rules and modulus rules, which I've written on the left and the right here, we can simplify this expression substantially and then work out what its value is. Now, the first thing we're going to do is using uh, the rules modulus M1 and M2, we can split this rather horrific one modulus expression into six modulus expressions like so and then we can evaluate each one um, one by one and see what we get so let's uh, bring that down here so we've got a bit more space um, so let's just rewrite that that's modulus of i times 3iz plus oops sorry excuse me plus z squared conjugate times the modulus of 1 plus root 3 cubed all over mod z 4z conjugate minus 12i mod 1 plus i squared. Okay, so let's deal with them each one by one. Okay, first of all, modulus of i. Well, that, that's one. That's, a, that's an easy one to start with. Now let's go with the second one, which is the modulus of 3iz add z squared conjugate. Okay, well, we can take uh, z out uh, from inside this bracket here. So that equals uh, mod 3, uh, sorry, equals mod z. Let's put the uh, z, 3i add z conjugate. So all we've done is taken the z out. Okay, and by um, the conjugate rule number 3, we can rewrite that as modulus z conjugate 3i add z conjugate and then by modulus rule 1 we can write that as mod z conjugate mod 3i add z conjugate and then by modulus rule 4 we can write that as modulus of z times modulus of 3i add z conjugate. Okay, so let's leave that one for now. Let's have a look at the third one, which is the modulus of 1 plus root 3 cubed, which we know by uh, modulus rule 3 is the same thing as the modulus of, oh, sorry, I missed a 1 out there, 1 plus root 3 cubed outside the modulus. Well, we know that the uh, modulus of 1 plus root 3, it's a well-known complex number, is 2. So therefore, 2 cubed is 8. So we know the answer to that one. Okay, moving down. Uh, to the fourth one, z here, well, we know, let's leave the modulus as z just as it is, modulus of z, we'll deal with that later. The fifth one, um, 4z conjugate minus 12i, let's have a look at that, modulus of 4z conjugate minus 12i, well, let's just take the 4 out, 4 brackets z conjugate minus 12i, which then by modulo rule 1, we have modulus 4 modulus z conjugate, conjugate minus 12i, and of course modulus of 4 is 4, modulus z conjugate minus 12i. Okay, and finally we are left with modulus of 1 plus i squared, which again is a fairly simple one, 1 plus i squared, modulus of 1 plus i squared, by um, the modulo rule 3 is the same as modulus of 1 plus i, squared, which is 1 plus i has a modulus of root 2, root 2 squared is 2. Okay, so we've got them all. So now what we need to do is go back and stick them in our original expression. So the first one uh, value, so let, let's just rewrite the expression, let's see, mod i mod 3iz add z squared conjugate mod 1 add root 3 cubed all over mod z mod 4z conjugate minus 12i mod 1 add i squared and let's replace each of those by what we've just calculated that they are which is um, what we, so it's 1 times by uh, z mod z times by uh, hang on a sec where were they uh, 3i plus z conjugate times brackets mod 3i plus z conjugate over uh, times sorry times uh, 8 all over 
mod z times 4 times mod of z conjugate minus 3i. Okay, now all we need to just do is just to modify this one slightly here. 3i add z conjugate by conjugate rule 1 is the same thing as 3i conjugate add z conjugate. And um, 3i add z conjugate, well, 3i conjugate is minus 3i, so that is the same thing as z conjugate minus 3i. So now we can plonk that back in here. We can cancel out, uh, sorry, I've missed a 2 out here, haven't I? Yeah, sorry, 1 plus i squared is, is 2, so we need that. So we can cancel out the 8, the 4, and the 2. We can cancel out the mod z, and all that leaves us with is z conjugate minus 3i modulus over modulus of z conjugate minus 3i, which equals 1. And that is the answer. So the answer to the, the question is 1. So by splitting the question um, from this rather horrific expression into the six constituents uh, by the modulus rules, and then evaluating each one of them one by one, most of them cancel out, and the only one that doesn't is z conjugate minus 3i, uh, which is on the top and the bottom, which then cancels out and leaves us with the answer 1.